The gentleman yield for questions. Yes. The gentleman yields for questions. Mr. Oliverson, um, are you aware of any other group of people other than uh, transgender youth that, that Texas legislature has specifically banned health care um, only for them while allowing the same treatments to still be provided to everyone else? Uh, Representative, I, I'm not advised. I'm only here to talk about this bill. Have you, um, have you ever, have you read peer-reviewed scientific studies performed in the United States that show um, that access to puberty blockers and hormone therapy for transgender youth who need them have, have been shown to reduce anxiety, depression, and suicidality? Representative, I can't speak to the entirety of the medical research on this topic, but I have read several that were cited in our uh, discussions in committee and they have serious methodological flaws and should not be relied upon. So these are peer-reviewed studies that were per from the United States? Peer-reviewed does yes. not mean randomized controlled. And, and I would point out to you that a randomized control trial is the only gold standard trial that exists. If this bill is passed, wouldn't, it, uh, wouldn't its effect be to override the medical judgment of doctors in the state? If this bill was passed, it will regulate the practice of medicine in this state in a new way. But it'll, it'll override the medical judgments of doctors in the state. I mean, we've heard testimony, we've heard doctors say this is I best think the, medical standards. Representative, I, respectfully, I think the point of this bill, uh, or the reason for this bill, has to do with the fact that we find that doctors practicing this, this type of medicine are not exercising good clinical judgment. Well, if this bill is passed, is it, it a government a governmental intrusion into the decisions of parents who are trying to provide best practice, life-saving, scientifically-based, medic medically necessary care to their teenagers based on their doctor's recommendations? I, I think respectfully, I would just disagree with your assertion for that question. Well, that's not what parents have testified or doctors have well, testified. I, I understand but, so, I mean, that we so, heard a variety of testimony so how many times in, how many times in, in your life have you chosen not to follow, follow a doctor's advice for your child when they were suffering from a serious condition, which you have, you have recognized that gender dysphoria is a, is a serious condition. Re Representative, I think the important point is that the state of Texas has a duty and an obligation to make sure that the practice of medicine in this state is evidence-based and safe, and that's why we're here. So did, you, I mean, so did you meet with parents whose children would be deprived of medical care under this bill? Yes. And, and what did they say? Uh, obviously, they were understandably concerned. But unfortunately, Representative, as I said in my layout, a lot of times these parents are manipulated into thinking that it's either this or their child will kill themselves. And the literature never supported that contention. Okay, well, okay. Can, you describe the, can you describe the impact they said this bill would have on their children to the body? I, I, honestly, I can't remember, Representative. You can't remember what these parents or children testified as to how this bill would affect him? Because I, I mean, I've spoken to several parents and they met with other, other members as well. And I don't think that I can forget that conversation. Okay. Or forget the tears I'll that these parents and these kids have in their eyes and how this bill is gonna impact them. And they have to potentially move out of the state if they can, because not everybody can. So representative, I just wanna point out to you to be clear that this does not ban all treatments for this mental health condition, gender dysphoria. It actually redirects patients, parents, and providers to scientifically proven methods that have been around for a long time. Counseling, psychotherapy. We don't treat mental health disorders with surgery. We treat mental health disorders with mental health treatments. And so I think it's really important for us to remember that this is a mental health condition and the appropriate treatment for mental health conditions are mental health treatments. We spend a lot of time in this building trying to improve access to mental health. And I'm very, very supportive of that, as you know. But that's not, that's not your area of expertise is mental health, right? You're an anesthesiologist, we've already established that. I think we've already established that representative, but again, like you and every other member of this body, I am here bringing whatever expertise I have to the table to try to pass laws that are best for people. And just as you are, I believe, an attorney, and you bring a certain body of expertise that I don't have to the legislature, okay. I bring a certain area of expertise that you don't have, which okay. is that I am one of only three board-certified physicians in this chamber. Okay, so wouldn't you agree that, um, as a Texas legislator, that we're tasked with the responsibility for protecting Texans, Texas families, and their children? Absolutely, I would, and that's is why we're here. 
Isn't it also true that in performing your job as a Texas legislator, you're supposed to rely on facts? I do. Data, science. I do. Like actual science in the United yes. States. Uh, what well, is it? Uh, hold on a second, Representative. Mm -hmm. I, I have to pause you there and let's go back and talk about what you just said because mm -hmm. I think you, you sort of, it, it is an unfair characteristic characterization to think that medical science only exists in the United States. Some of our best research, and I would point out to you that the original studies that started this whole trend uh, were not from the United States. They were from Europe. So to say that only United States research should be looked at would, I think, be unsupportable. What is it about, what is it about this issue that has resulted in you failing to follow those facts? The data and the science, the science and the data that we've heard um, over and over again in committee by doctors that practice here in the state that are board certified. Um, I mean, we've had doctors that have testified that have had their own clinics that have been doing this for years and say that this is I, I medical, am following best medical the science, standards. Representative. I'm sorry? I'm following the science, Representative. 